What's up, y'all? It's Keon with Executive Cuts Landscaping um, over here at a new property um, that we're servicing. She's going to get the grass cut. Um, she's put in on our bi weekly schedule. And um, she's going to get a couple bushes done here in the back. And I'm going to get y'all some recording on that. So let me show y'all the bushes. So. She's getting this one squared off. And then she's getting this one squared off. And then she's getting this one cut down some. So that it doesn't look so big. She wanted it down to the fence line. But I told her that it kind of killed a bush. And we didn't want to do that. So we're going to level it off and make it look nice. And um, get this thing looking good. So I'm about to get y'all some trimming for footage. So stay tuned.
so yeah we done um with these bushes um got them trimmed up so i started to look now trimmed up all the way around it's a big hill here uh y'all probably can't tell so when we got hills like this we charge a little extra um it's a hill it goes down to a landing and then it's another hill that goes down um yeah so got this one nice and trimmed up got it nice and trimmed up all the way around And again, we got the, the double hill, so you gotta be careful, but yeah. That's how she look on this side. If I go down to this landing and show y'all this side of it. Uh, we didn't really wanna cut over on the neighbor side, um, but we didn't have permission, so I got it looking good on her three sides of the, uh, these bushes so these bushes always have a lot of bees um they come to get the pollen and i don't know if y'all can see this bee but yeah bees all in them so you gotta be careful when you're cutting these trees that you don't get stung by any of the bees so um yeah so we got the two hills um She's not getting any of her bushes done in the front. All she wants is the grass cut. Um, the people that's cutting it been basically killing it. So, um, we're gonna come in and make it look good. Now, don't kill any more of the property. Uh, she got some bushes up here in the front uh, that she's not getting maintained as of yet. She probably wanted to see what we can do to the back before she gets anything done to the front. So, um, yeah, we're about to take care of. It's a little bit up here in the front here. Yeah. So, we're about to take care of it. I ain't gonna record this one because got a few things that I need to take care of after here but i'm gonna definitely show y'all the after but y'all never seen any um of the bush work so i wanted to let y'all see us trimming up some bushes um again we use um the ryobi um trimmers and it's the expanded edition um it's not a paid partnership with ryobi but it's just the equipment that we use um and i like it because you can switched all the attachments it has about 10 different attachments that comes with this thing and you can pretty much hook up whatever um to it so we're going to take this off and put the trimmers back on you can put a tiller on here you can put an edger on here um you can put a uh, little uh, pruners on here uh everything so this little um expanded model of ryobi is pretty good um and we like it and that's what we use it for now obviously we're going to get to the point where we want to get more professional equipment but for now um this is suffice just for us to get started and start making money you know and you can build as you go so that's um one thing that we telling everybody to make sure that you understand that you don't have to start off perfect you don't have to start off looking like the million dollar landscaping company just get out here start at the bottom and work your way up um the products that you can use um if you figure out how to use them you can still provide professional service to your customers and not have to break the bank right off when you're just trying to get started in business so everybody knows you got to start from the bottom um it's not a microwave lifestyle it's not going to happen overnight but it'll definitely happen over time if you keep on you know pushing and grinding so let me go ahead and get started on this yard and I'm gonna get back to y'all with the end results. All right, see you in a second. What's up y'all, the Keon with Executive Cuts Landscaping and we back with the finished product. 
Uh, just, just let me say something to y'all. If you wonder why you lose it, it's because when you say you're a professional at a job, you're not actually being a professional at what you're doing. So when you have a customer, I have a customer, a customer, a customer, a customer, again and again and again and again, and they're talking about how the unprofessionalism with these companies that so-called professionals is coming out, and they don't even give their customers a lining, a trimming on there on the sidewalks, and just trimming around the bushes and just making sure everything nice and clean. I mean, when you get into these properties, it's your responsibility to make sure that you represent your company to the highest extent, and that's how we're going to get further and further in these businesses. So it's not that I'm going off anything, but I just want to let a lot of people know why they're losing a lot of times, why their 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 company's not progressing because they're not taking it serious. Um, but yeah, let me let me let me give y'all a preview of what it looked like afterwards. Uh, so uh, when I originally came, I could tell that the landscaper wasn't trimming up the yard, um, and so I was letting her know. She was telling me that they trim. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm not gonna argue with the customer or anything. But um, this is the finished product. Um, as you can see, um, it's looking good. It's nice and striped. We do get stripes up here in the north. Um, and this was done with the my Toro, uh, my 22-inch mower. And I actually just purchased a new mower, and um, I'll be showing y'all and revealing that to y'all, and um, probably on the next video. But yeah, um, just giving y'all a preview of everything. Um, it's nice and trimmed up, nice and edged. Got that nice clean edge. Um, everything's trimmed up around the bushes. I'm sorry for the wind. It's a little windy today. Everything is looking good. Happy customer. She said this is the best cut that she ever got on her yard. And she's been living at this property for years. And has been had multiple landscapers um, come take on the job. And she said this is her best cut. And this is not a clean up or anything. This is just what we do on a regular basis. Uh, we come out, we deliver exactly what we say we're going to do. If we can't deliver it, we don't say we can do it. We'll actually call somebody in that can. If I can't deliver it, I'm going to make sure that the customer gets, um, you know, the service that they're asking for. Because we help each other out in this industry. That's how we win. Um, so the bush is nice and trimmed up. Um, I showed that to y'all um, in the earlier part of this video, but I'm just showing y'all the clean up and everything afterwards. Um, just getting it done, you know. Um, like I said, it's a multi-level hill, and we got it all done. Um, but again, I just want y'all to start taking pride in, in your work. Um, you don't want to get the reputation of that you just come and do a half job, and that's why you can't retain the customers um, year after year after year. Um, we always usually retain our customers, um, other than maybe if a customer, customer moves out or something, or something like that, that's usually the losses we take on customers. Um, but just make sure you're giving top quality professional service if you consider yourself a professional. And if you can't produce that, keep on working harder and harder and harder so that you can be able to, you know, produce that. Um, reach out to somebody that could be a mentor to you, somebody that can help you out, somebody could just show you how to master a certain part of what you're doing on your craft. Um, but the whole point is execution and consistency and professionalism and customer service. If you keep those four models going, then you will win every time. If you always keeping the professionalism and your customer service at a high level, and actually producing the right product or the right service to the customer, you're always going to win. So that's something you need to take into consideration. I'm new to the game. I'm not an expert. I'm not proclaiming to be an expert, any of those things. But at the end of the day, what we do have to understand is that you know, this is a this is our livelihood. This is your name. If you're really trying to build a lucrative business, now if you're just trying to do something on the side, still keep it at a high level because you you these people are paying their money. Do you know how hard it is in these times for people to spend money on a service and for them to spend money with you and you to come out in half step and then you wonder why you keep losing money and you can't build a business? It's because you're not putting in the work. You're not putting the work in. You're not delivering that quality customer service. So. I just want to encourage anybody who out here listening, anybody that's watching my videos, just keep your, this, this is your company, 
this is your name, this is your future or your family, your kids, whatever, if that's what you're building it for. When you put your name on it, make sure that thing is stamped quality at a high quality level and that you're producing for your customers the expectation that they have. So, you know, that's one thing I just want to tell you all. I um, appreciate y'all watching the videos. Keep promoting. Keep uh, marketing. Keep on delivering at a high level. If you put your name on the produce at a high level, just keep on with great customer service and keep putting your customers first. And you have definitely grown this business. And we can uh, we appreciate you all watching these videos and helping the channel grow. Um, we only have like 60-something subscribers, but we just got started. We've only been doing about a month now. And... The growth I feel is good. Um, anybody that's just want to support, we appreciate y'all. So if you're here and you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know what I can bring to y'all. Anything y'all want to see. Anything that y'all think I need to do to improve. I'm always open to suggestions because we always got to keep learning from each other. So on that note, I um, appreciate y'all tuning in. Keep making money, y'all. Talk to you soon.